Welcome back Faxable Media, welcome to our last destination. We're currently here in a former site of batteries from the Anglo Satsuma War and they call this a former site of Karajusima battery. Now just to give you a quick detail of what this site is all about, this is actually overlooking just to give you a quick a glimpse of, of this site and we are alone on this site. According to the details before the eruption in 1914, a long time ago, they call it the Taisho era. So this island used to be uh, located uh, above 500 uh, meters um, offshore. And after the great eruption sometime on January 13, uh, 1914, and it created a massive flow of the lava and that made this island way bigger. So I think this is just one of the commemorative um, spot that they have actually erected here. But this is to actually celebrate the, the phenomenon that transpired during this you know, massive eruption in 1914. Um, January 13 to be very specific and it lasted up until the 18th of 1914. So there you go, the history of Sakarujima uh, volcanic eruption in the Taisho era and I am very very delighted really to experience this just half day of you know short trip here in this beautiful island all right so see you in my next adventure and we are going to our next destination hopefully we'll be able to arrive in the museum today Welcome to the Sakurajima International Volcanic Sabo Center. Today we are here to witness some of the artifacts that were um, stored in here, important details and information of the volcanic activities that has been happening inside the island and also some of the volcanic activities that happened in the past to see a lot of correlations and also some activities that can potentially predict as to why some eruptions are very frequent and to tell you honestly based on the facts that they have put in the information there are about 800 plus of volcanic eruptions each year so imagine every single probably i don't know day there are eruptions that we don't maybe notice but the record says um anyway so we rely on the information that were given by the volcanic center so here as you can see inside the volcanic center we have this beautiful stunning landscape this is not just an ordinary mountain what what you're seeing here is the sakurujima volcano this is what we're talking about they have also um, listed a very basic information here um, here they have written the uh, points from number one all the way to number uh, I don't know maybe number four so but they have points that you need to look at over here so the first one this is over there as you can see that's what we call the Dam Nojiri River so as I was cycling around the um, island I saw this signage actually heading to the river so we can also witness the beautiful and stunning volcano against the river if you are up to this kind of vibe the second part over there you call it the Kitadake over there. Okay. That's about 1,170 meters above the sea level. Now, all the way to this side, there is another observatory deck that you can also enjoy the panoramic view of the volcano. And over here, the last part over here, this is the Minami Dake over here. That's all the way there. All right. So, 
beautiful. Uh, I just went around this uh, volcanic center. So this is not just an ordinary volcanic center, but this also center serves as an evacuation center in case of you know volcanic emergencies. And so because we've seen a lot of residential areas as well here, I was cycling around the uh, sections that are occupied by residents. And based on the information that I got, there are about 4,000 inhabitants living this beautiful island. So there you go. Houses are also fantastic and beautiful. The architecture are beautiful also in the beautiful island of Sakurajima. So today we're moving to our next destination and I'm going to see you in my next destination. Please enjoy the beautiful panoramic view of this volcano. See ya! Welcome to the beach. We are currently here in Rainbow Beach. It's pretty close to Sakurajima uh, port. So in a couple of minutes, we'll be heading over there to grab our ferry, going back to the city center. But in the meantime, we're here to show you the beautiful, very tiny beach here and the beautiful island of Sakurajima. So it's called uh, Rainbow Beach. So there are currently locals and even tourists enjoying the vibe here today so time check is already 4 15 and it's still really really scorching hot and but it's beautiful if you want to consider this uh, beach before you conclude your travel or your visit here in Sakurajima this is the best way to end your day have a you know peaceful day here watch the sunset probably as for me I'm, I'm having uh, in a couple of minutes but just to let you know I am just enjoying a couple of minutes here just before we end our day because this is just perfect way to end our day today with this lovely weather and also the lovely vibe here in this Rainbow Beach. I am not very a very fan of really uh, going to the beach but um, yeah, it's just it's not something that is really really that I cannot stand. It's just I'm not really a fan of the beach, but this is just lovely to enjoy. Just be open-minded. <laughs> I don't often go to the beach, but um, this is just one way of enjoying our day. Just listen to the breeze of the air, the gushing of the water, and just enjoy your beautiful day here in the beach, or just sit down and just watch the people uh, doing the swimming. So that's it for today. So we are heading now in a couple of minutes to the port area so we can grab our ferry going back to Kagoshima city. That's it for today so I hope you really enjoy our stay here even if it's just a half day here in the beautiful island of Sakurajima and so hopefully you will get to visit again in the future. So see you in my next adventure. Bye!